Hello? Hey, what's going on, baby? Yeah? Really? I understand that. I gotta get my I, I gotta get myself together. I understand. The relationship is taking a big blow. Hey Ross World, my money makes money. Without finance, there's no romance. What does that actually mean? Have you noticed men and women at the turn of the decade, the Generation X, Generation Y, the Millennials, and now are coming Generation Alpha people, we need to get our affairs in order, our finances, okay, our money in order, because without finance, there's no romance. What am I talking about? Finances is the center point of your relationship, or it will be, because this is the thing. Nobody wants financial hardship. So if I am courting a young female, right, and she's trying to figure out where my finances are, because that's the reason kind of the dating tells people. Now, granted, it depends on where their mindset is. If they say, oh, he's frugal, he probably is really good with finances or financially stable. Or he's cheap and he probably is some broke dude. And this depends. Now, this goes for both men and women because at the same time, men like in this day and age, two paychecks really helps out a household unless a guy is making six, figure, making six figures or a female is making six figures and they don't care who's really the head of the household. Okay, that's the way the new social economic thing is working. I'm off of it. But the thing or the point I'm trying to make is this. We don't want to be a financial hardship to somebody else except for those who out there are looking for somebody who's making a substantial amount of money so they can just lean on them. And that's not fair, okay? That's not fair. When you come into a relationship and you're dating someone throughout that relationship or throughout that dating, they need to know where you stand financially. And they need to know if they want to take on that, okay? They want to take on that debt. They want to take on that hardship. Because this is the thing. You say, oh, well, my debt is my debt. I'm going to take care of it. Oh, man, shoot. I got mine. I got mine. But no, this is the point I'm trying to make here, guys and um, women. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, that's better. This is the point I'm trying to make, ladies and gentlemen, is that if I'm always paying for the outing, the date, the food, whether it be at my home or in a restaurant or the activities, because you're trying to get your affairs in order. Did I negotiate? Did we talk about this? Is this my inheritance from you? Or this is a deal that we made because we're so far along. Or we're going to make it that far along after we have that conversation. What am I getting at? Most people, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. Now, if the guy is rich, then this doesn't apply to you. Or the girl is rich, this doesn't apply to you. But don't want to pay for every single thing every single time because you're trying to get your finances ordered. So what am I trying to say is that without finance, there's no romance. So you need to get your finances order right now because that's the one thing you don't want to worry about when you're with somebody. You don't want to worry about if they're financially stable. They need to be financially stable. You don't want to worry about if she's financially stable. She needs to be financially stable. Now, granted, there are a few cases out there when people go through divorce, when people go through uh, being sued and other extenuating circumstances. I got it. And there's people out there who will feel sympathy and empathy for that particular reason because they believe in you and not that's in your bank account. I totally understand it. But I'm talking about for those people who are not going through those things, who finances are crappy, okay, who, uh, who you don't want nobody to see. You don't want nobody to see your credit cards. You don't want, you don't want nobody to see your bank accounts. You, want, you don't want nobody to see your bank statements because very minimal money inside of that. There are high balances on your credit cards and your credit score is three, four, 500 points. So in order to get to the point or being financially stable, or just keeping your head above water, you actually need to do some due diligence. You need to sacrifice. You need to pull back some. 
And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, I'm talking about spend less, save more. I'm talking about spend less, invest more. I'm talking about spend less, pay off your damn debt. That is what I'm talking about. And through my channel, I try to give people a very layman way, layman's terms way, to convey a message in order for you to do better in life. Now, granted, I always say do your research, your research, your research, because this is the thing. You can watch all these videos and you know someone's telling you all this information and it's going in one ear and not the other because it sounds nice. It's like a sermon, right? It's like when you go to church. For that moment in church, it sounds good. It sounds good. Oh, yeah, he talking to me. And an hour after you walk out, you don't remember nothing that was said. And I'm not saying all of you. I'm saying most of you. And that's how informational videos like this one are. It sounds good right now. You're making a plan in your head. Then an hour later, you forgot everything I done said. So what you need to do is stop, drop, and get a pen and paper and make an actual plan with actual dates and actual obtainable goals for you to reach and follow it and be strict and be firm on yourself. No one's going to control your future except you because when it's time to bump and grind, the only thing you'll be doing is grinding by yourself. This is Raw Squirrel. Without finance, there's no romance. I'm out.